What I'm about to do is set up the machine to capture 802.11 frames, not just the ones that I'm on here, but any that are on that channel in the air. To start with, I've got to put the card in monitor mode so it captures everything that goes through the air on that channel. To do that, a couple of commands, that one there, and that one there. Uh, I've put them in the information so you can see them. What we can see here is the BSS ID, which is, is really just the MAC address of that access point. And it also shows us that the SSID is called Demo. That's just the network name of this um, service set. Now that I've got monitor mode set up, we can have a look at what's going through the air using Wireshark. And what I've got here is Wireshark. And you could just click on the interface, but what I want to do is filter out the beacons because there's a lot of beacons coming through constantly and they clutter up the display. Now that we've got the network card in monitor mode we want to see what's actually coming in. To do that we use Wireshark. Uh, you could just start Wireshark on the interface which is what WLAN 0 but that would have a lot of beacons in as well because they're constantly being transmitted and it would clutter up the display a bit. Now you could filter them out at the display but because I'm not interested in them for this I'm going to filter them out on the capture so they're not actually recorded. To do that we go to capture options and for wireless LAN 0 just set up the filter here as shown here which is also in the information down below. What that's doing is basically ignoring the frame type which is the beacons which is what this part is here. So I'll start that now and there's nothing there. Now if I turn on the phone like so what we'll see as that phone connects to the network, we'll see a whole bunch of things come up. Okay, I'll stop that now. Now that the phone's connected, we'll have a little look at what we just captured. Right, what we see here is, is the process for when the phone joined the network. And what we see is this MAC address here that ends in 74, that's my phone. And you can see it's doing a, broad, a bunch of broadcasts here that are probe requests. And they're their destination is broadcast. It's not any particular SSID that it's looking for. It's just looking for whatever's out there. And we can see that there's come back a response from, from an access point here to the phone um, with the SSID of demo, which is the one I set up. And that's, that's good. What, we ha what happens further, though, is apart from doing these uh, pro requests that, go that just ask for any SSID, we do this one here. Now, what this is, it's still going to any destination, any destination AP, hence the broadcast, but the pro request now is stating specifically the SSID of demo. Okay, now we of course get a probe response from my access point because it, it knows it's demo. And here's one of the things, if you have SSIDs turned off in beacons, you'll still see it here because to join the network, it has to send that SSID out. So that's why it's a bit of a pointless issue turning it off in beacons because you're going to see it anyway when someone joins. Um, anyway, we've got the probe request and a probe response. So now we know there's an AP with the SSID that we want to join. The next step is to authenticate to it. When we go down here a bit, what we find here is my phone directing its traffic to that specific access point. This is the, uh, the, MAC, address, the MAC address of the access point is known as a BSS ID, just for information. Um, and I'm asking to be authenticate. And I get an acknowledgement, so we know the frame got there okay. The access point then responds back with an authentication frame as well. And if we have a look in the information down here, we'll see that the code was successful. So we're authenticated to the access point. Now we can associate to it. So the next thing is we send an association request. And same sort of thing goes from my wireless device here to the access point association request and again the SSID demo is visible again um, acknowledgement and we get that association response and it says successful so we're now associated to that access point now because I'm using WPA we have to do we have to set up the traffic keys and that's done by these four frames here which are known as a four-way handshake and once they're complete we now have encrypted traffic so from then on, this data, you'll see the MAC addresses because that's in the clear, generally, but the data is just encrypted. You won't see it. And there'll be a lot of data frames and a lot of acknowledgement frames.